Hi guys, my name's Sarah. Um, I'm gonna do my like basic summer makeup tutorial. Uh, be a little patient with me. This is my first YouTube video. Um, so let's get started. So some people like to put their foundation on first and some people like to do their eyes first. I think it depends on what I am personally doing. If I am going to be doing like a crazy smoky eye, I do not put my foundation on first because you tend to have fallout with like darker colors. Um, if I'm doing something lighter, which is my plan for today, then I do my foundation first. I like to do my whole base first and then go off my eyes. But if I do something smoky, I like to put the smoke on first and then do my face because that also tends to wash me out and I might need more bronzer or blush. Yeah. I also like to drag it down my neck. It is summertime if you can find a good foundation with SPF in it. That's always good. Um, I usually just put sunscreen on first and then put my foundation over top of it. I find that it usually sits pretty well. I use the Neutrogena face lotion. Um, today for foundation I'm gonna I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in shade 120. Uh, classic ivory. My nose is a little sunburned so gotta get a little extra on my nose. Alright um, then I'll go, usually go on to concealer. Uh, today I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles because I've got some dark circles today and I'm in Fair. Fair Claire. I'll just do a little Um, I personally don't bring my concealer all the way back. I kind of just keep it right underneath my eyes. Um, that's like a personal preference. If you bring it all the way back, it tends to make your face wider. And if you have like a long face, that's great. I personally have like a rounder face, I feel like. So I don't like my face to look wider, I like look longer and thinner. We have some friends that have some long faces and, you know, why the long face? We do also tend to put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And now that you look super crazy, we'll blend it out. Um, I did find with this concealer that sometimes underneath my eyes kind of get like a harsher line. So like if you have any extra foundation on your hands, you can kind of mix that in and then blend it out a little bit more seamlessly. I do also bring that up into my eye and use that kind of as my eye primer. Most concealers are supposed to be creaseless, so they work kind of as an eye primer as well. Double duty. So today's Saturday. I spent, today's actually National Lipstick Day. Happy National Lipstick Day. Um, I don't know about you guys. If you're watching me, you're probably into makeup like I am. And I spent three hours today at MAC waiting for that free lipstick. And I was the last person that got a free lipstick. And it was not worth it. Uh, the only lipstick color that was left was actually green, so we'll see if I ever use that one. Um, but I waited in line, I was gonna get that lipstick. Now I'm using the Milani Press Powder in uh, Prep, Set, Go Translucent Face Powder. I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes just a little bit, and I usually just use like the damp beauty blender, and I just put a little bit on. Um, I'm not really a baker, but I will say that I do have some pretty creasy under eyes. So I like to just put a little bit of something underneath my eyes so that way they tend not to crease as much. 
And another thing you want to do is go back and forth. Um, I'm going to use the matching uh, Fit Me powder, uh, Fit Me from Matte and Poreless uh, in 120 Classic Ivory. I'm just going to use a powder brush. It's just a normal powder brush. All of my brushes are from Crown um, or Morphe. So I just do a light set, just something so that way um, it takes away the stickiness of your foundation so that way when you put your powders on like your um, bronzer and blush, nothing sticks to it and you don't, you tend to have a more of a flawless finish. I'm going to go to bronzer next. Um, I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronze Waterproof Bronzing Powder in shade 022 Sun Bronze. Um, I, fun fact used to be a lot bigger than I am right now. Um, I've lost a lot of weight, and since then I don't really contour too much. Um, I kind of just bronze. I don't really do a whole lot of contouring. I don't feel like I need it anymore. Um, and sometimes the contouring is great. I love contouring when I'm like going out, like out, 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 out. Um, but for like an everyday, I don't really like to do it. I just like to bronze. Um, I feel like that helps shape my face enough that I don't necessarily need a contour. So right now, we're just gonna make it nice and light. We're just going out to, well actually we're not doing anything, so. Uh, after this, we're gonna sit and watch Netflix for like six hours and maybe drink a glass of wine. So I usually just take a stippling brush and kind of just make sure that I have no harsh lines. It blends in with my uh, setting powder for blush today. We're going to use uh, Wet n Wild. Uh, what is this? Rose Champagne. Um, Wet n Wild's got great bl blushes if you want to save a little bit of money. Um, you're going to use an angle blush brush. Um, so if you want to save a little bit of money, uh, from the drugstore, Wet n Wild's got some great blushes. Um, they do all have a little tiny bit of shimmer in them, not too much, uh, but if you don't like that, then you won't like them. Um, NYX also has some great blushes, and they have more mattes. Um, I just don't have any with me right now. I think I got rid of all of mine. I gave them all to my sisters. Shout out to my sisters. They get all of my makeup when I'm done with it, but now that I'm starting YouTube, they probably will get less makeup because I need a bigger collection. This one's a Morphe M501. I'm gonna use that as my highlighter. I'm gonna use uh, e.l.f. today. Um, uh, Moonlight Pearls. Now, these I was told are great, but you do kind of have to like take the top off and wipe that down. And then we'll just. So this is just a fairly neutral, natural highlight. I'm not a big fan of when people have like a stripe of highlight on them. Um, I kind of like mine to look a little bit more natural. And then I usually just take my beauty blender and kind of just meld all of those together. Um, if you don't want to spend the money on an actual beauty blender, um, I do have, I also have a Real Technique sponge. They, it works exactly the same. I'm going to take a little bit, just put, mm-hmm, and then right here. And, a foundation in my hair. Uh, just a little bit on each side. I'm trying to do brows next. I don't necessarily need to fill in a whole lot because I do have brows. I was, I guess I'm lucky nowadays um, that brows are back in. Uh, when I was growing up, brows were not in. Thin little lines were in, so I had to go get them plucked all the time or waxed because I'm a waxer. Um, so you just see little tiny brow hairs in the front little tiny strokes but yeah so i don't really need all that much i kind of just do a little bit because my hairs on the bottom of my eyebrows are a little bit sparser than the hairs on the top 
So I kind of just go in and do on the bottom. So we'll just brush that out before we put any powder in. So then this is the other side. We'll just put it a little. All right, so um, on to eyes. We're gonna use the e.l.f. Mad for Mats. You can use a big fluffy brush, an M540. So it's got big head. I'm gonna take the first one in this palette and I'm just gonna set my eyes and then I'm actually just gonna zoom you guys in so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna use the the third color in the palette and just do a little. So I'm um, applying this to my crease. So I actually am applying it up slightly higher than my natural crease. So I'm gonna kind of just go back and forth and do a little circle over here because that's where I want it to be the smokiest. And then I take whatever's left and bring it in. It's makeup. Kind of just do what you want. I honestly just watch these because I like the people that I'm watching. And I like makeup. Put them on. Put this kind of stuff on. And do my own makeup. I mean, I almost want to put one on. Wouldn't that be like YouTube Inception? If I was watching one while filming one, and then you're watching me watch one while filming one. I'm gonna use a different brush just to kind of blend out the edges. Uh, it's an M433 um, from Morphe as well. Okay, so we're gonna use that one. And we're gonna take the brush that we're using, the M433, pick up a little bit of down, just kind of do the same thing except a little bit lower. And then we're gonna go even a slightly smidge darker with the next shade over right there. Same brush. And just adding colors but doing the same thing over and over again tends to add some depth to the eye. We're gonna take our e.l.f. highlighter again. We're just gonna use a synthetic little circle. Just a little circle brush. It's called Oval Lip. It's by Gan Crown. I am probably gonna go grab some setting spray to give this a little bit more oomph. So I just use a little bit of setting spray, just a little, just a little, and then just go into your, and it tends to give it a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more oomph. Um, now, if you don't have setting spray and you want the oomph, Uh, eye drops works as well. Um, I used eye drops for a really long time. I will say I'm not loving this e.l.f. highlighter as much as I was hoping I was gonna love it. It's not exactly doing everything that I want on my eyes. I definitely don't hate it on my cheeks, but on my eyes, it's just not giving me the kind of like little bit that I wanted. But yeah, I mean, it was like only two bucks. It's just not as, ex it's not exactly what I wanted on my eyes. But it's, it's pretty. It's pretty for sure, for sure pretty. You just kind of have to work with it a little bit more. I take the M513 again, um, and just kind of make sure that those edges are really diffused. I'm gonna take this color. Sorry, none of these actually have any names to them. And a smaller round brush. This is an E117 from Morphe. I okay, um, so I'm gonna do my under eye now. Um, I'm gonna take the E118, which is kind of a smaller, denser version of the E18. 
18. I'm gonna take the third one in here and kind of just put it all underneath. I'm just gonna freak people out because it does not look cute when you do this because you're like basically shoving a brush in your eyeball. And I'm gonna take a flat definer brush and I'm gonna take a little bit darker color in that Mad for Matte palette. And I am going to just put it kind of in the outside. And take that E18 brush again. I'm kind of. Um, I do love makeup. Um, I will say that most of my makeup right now is higher end makeup, but I don't want my channel to be unattainable. My goal as far as my channel is concerned is to make it an attainable makeup look. This is a Sephora waterproof retractable eyeliner. Kind of define my lash line a little bit. Um, my lash line tends to get lost. And then I'm going to take that uh, E18 brush again and just buff that out just the like slightest. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner and call in your buff. And kind of just run that in there. I'm going to take my eyelash curler. Um, I don't know what mine is. I know I bought it at. Nordstrom Rack forever ago. I think it was five bucks. Now I'm gonna do Maybelline Lash Sensational in Curvitude. That's kind of weird. Um, let's see how this goes on. I definitely like it for like the lower lash line. I think a little bit more than I like it for the upper lash line. It just seems like it's a lot of work for the upper to like get everything and do my go-to nude look with this eye um i use it does involve a little bit of a high end i'm going to use the bite beauty lip pencil in 020. the only thing i don't like about these bite beauty pencils the only thing i don't like about these bite beauty pencils is the cap the cap has a tendency to fall off and then you lose your point and then you have to sharpen it and you lose product which is no good if you're spending a lot of money you want all of your product could probably just leave it like that i'm gonna go one step further i'm gonna take maybelline's beige babe i'm gonna go over top of that they're basically the same color it's just giving you extra wear because the lipstick might wear off, but then you've got the lip liner underneath. So, this is my first video. Be kind to me. Please and thank you. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. Uh, if you could, hit that thumbs up button. Ah. Thumbs up button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Like I said, this is my first video, so we will see and how this turns out. I hope you guys have a great day and bye. Bye. Do I look beautiful? The answer is yes, it's always yes.